Welcome to Mastering the ECG, your complete guide to understanding and interpreting electrocardiograms. From basic waveforms to advanced clinical patterns, this series will teach you everything you need to know about reading ECGs with confidence. This is a 10 part series. This is part 3. A normal ECG reflects the orderly depolarization and repolarization of the heart. It consists of the following elements. The P wave, PR interval, QRS complex, ST segment, T wave, and QT interval. Each corresponds to a specific event in the cardiac cycle. The P wave represents atrial depolarization, beginning in the sinoatrial nodes and spreading across both atria. It should be smooth and rounded, less than 2.5 mm tall, and less than 0.12 seconds wide. That's three small boxes. It is upright in leads 1, 2 and AVF and may be biphasic in V1. An abnormal P wave can suggest atrial enlargement or ectopic atrial activity. The PR interval spans from the beginning of the P wave to the beginning of the QRS complex. It reflects the conduction through the atria and AV nodes. Normal ranges is 0.12 to 0.20 seconds, which is 3 to 5 small boxes. A prolonged PR interval may indicate first degree AV block. The QRS complex represents ventricular depolarization. It is normally narrow and sharp. The normal duration is less than 0.10 seconds, approximately 2.5 boxes. A QRS wider than 0.12 seconds suggests a bundle branch block or ventricular rhythm. A normal QRS may include a small initial negative deflection Q wave, a tall positive R wave and a final negative S wave. The ST segment connects the end of the QRS complex with the beginning of the T wave. It represents the plateau phase of ventricular repolarization. It should be isoelectric, not elevated or depressed more than 1 mm in limb leads or 2 mm in chest leads. Deviations from the baseline may indicate ischemia, injury or pericarditis. The T wave reflects ventricular repolarization. It should be upright in most leads, especially 1, 2 and V3 to V6. It is normally asymmetrical in shape, less than 5 mm tall in limb leads and less than 10 mm tall in chest leads. Inverted or peaked T waves may suggest ischemia, hyperkalemia, or other pathology. The QT interval measures from the beginning of the QRS to the end of the T wave, covering both the depolarization and repolarization. Normal corrected QT times are less than 440 milliseconds in men and less than 460 milliseconds in women. A prolonged QT may predispose to ventricular arrhythmias. A normal ECG rhythm is a sinus rhythm, originated from the sinoatrial node with a P wave before every QRS, regular intervals, and a rate between 60 and 100 beats per minute. The electrical axis should fall between minus 30 and plus 90 degrees. Axis deviation may be an early clue to structural or conduction abnormalities. Understanding the components and measurements of a normal ECG is essential. It forms the baseline for recognizing arrhythmias, ischemia, and conduction defects. In the next episode, we'll apply a systematic approach to reading ECGs step by step to ensure no detail is missed. Thank you for watching Mastering the ECG. Continue your learning journey with part four, systematic ECG interpretation. And don't forget to subscribe for the full series.